want to tell you guys about Brawl Stars. Who we'll helped fund this video, which cost over three and a half million dollars. Thank you so much. All right, now I want to briefly mention the sponsor of today's video, which is Cash App. And I've actually been using this tool for many, many years. And the tool is called Unhooked. Many of you guys probably already know by now that Artlist is one of my favorite music licensing services. How often have you instinctively clicked to skip past a sponsored segment on YouTube? Don't answer that, we know. Yes, it can be annoying, but it doesn't change the fact that every influencer hopes for a sponsorship deal. Last year alone, top YouTubers like Mr. Beast and Jake Paul each earned over $10 million from sponsorships and brand deals. These internet celebrities are raking in massive fortunes just from promoting products to their followers. But are creators becoming more loyal to the brands padding their wallets than their own subscribers? The gold rush of sponsorship money has enabled an opulent influencer lifestyle filled with mansions, sports cars, and outrageous stunts. But it's also twisted priorities, as maintaining the steady stream of brand deals often wins out over keeping viewers happy. In this video, we'll examine the mounting financial incentives and pressures that lead many YouTubers to prioritize pleasing sponsors over retaining audience trust and loyalty. Making a decent amount of revenue from YouTube ad revenue has become increasingly difficult and unreliable. Luck plays a big role in getting a good amount of revenue from YouTube ads, and by luck, I'm referring to the almighty algorithm. As a result, YouTubers are relying more on sponsorship deals to make up for the shortfall in YouTube ad revenue. Nowadays, sponsorships have become the primary source of income for top creators. A single sponsored video can easily net six figures for the top tier of YouTubers. Some of the top YouTubers have reported regularly earning over $100,000 for a single sponsored video. When you have millions of loyal subscribers, the sponsorship checks roll in steadily. Many YouTubers rely on sponsors to fund their content because the costs of producing high-quality videos have increased significantly in the age of YouTube fame. Top creators have full production teams that include writers, editors, producers, and managers. For instance, Mr. Beast has a team of over 60 people to support his channel, and he has plans to turn his hometown into a thriving hub for digital media content creators. These overheads add up, as salaries in the creative industry are high. Expensive stunts, lavish productions, and giveaways require huge budgets, and creators like Mr. Beast have spent millions of dollars on massive videos like recreating Squid Game in real life. They create these flashy videos to attract more subscribers, but sponsors enable them to fund them. Quick question before moving on. Do you think top YouTubers earn too much? Or do the production costs justify the big paydays? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. Today, YouTubers depend on sponsorship income to keep their channels running and to produce fresh content. Refusing brand deals is not really an option. While this might be the case for most content creators, we understand that it doesn't apply to everyone. Although the temptation of receiving big checks from brands willing to tap into their audience can be enticing, many creators end up accepting shady sponsorship deals. Unfortunately, this has led to a lot of influencers facing backlash from their audience. The worst part is when influencers promote scams or deceptive products without considering the impact on their audience. One of the most rampant examples of this is crypto pump and dump schemes. Influencers hype up certain coins to their followers and then cash out before the price crashes, leaving their fans to suffer the losses. A viral example is Logan Paul's Crypto Zoo NFT project, which turned out to be a scam. Logan Paul has a massive audience of around 28 million subscribers on YouTube and millions of followers on Instagram and TikTok, so he definitely had the audience necessary to generate hype around a new collection of NFTs. Basically, Paul and his team sold NFTs and released a zoo token, but the game never materialized. Several investors lost up to half a million dollars and have not received any refunds. This is not the first time that Paul has been accused of promoting cryptocurrency scams. He had previously promoted a shitcoin called Dink Doink, which lost all its value soon after its promotion. 
other content creators, such as Graham Stephan and Adam Ross, have also faced criticism for promoting cryptocurrency projects without proper disclaimers to their young audiences. These coins often end up losing value after the influencers cash out. It's two sides of a coin, and sadly, many creators often accept sponsorship deals for the wrong reasons. One major reason most YouTubers are determined to keep sponsors happy is due to sponsorship contracts. Sponsorship contracts can lead to biased coverage and limit what YouTubers can say about the brands they work with. Non-disparagement clauses are often included in these contracts, which prevent creators from speaking negatively about their sponsors during the partnership. Even if a YouTuber has a bad experience with a product or service, they are not allowed to talk about it openly. This inevitably leads to one-sided coverage that favors sponsors in order to maintain those business relationships. A lot of YouTubers are reluctant to speak out against sponsors who engage in unethical practices or promote questionable products because they fear it might harm their chances of securing future opportunities. Even creators with the best intentions may feel like they are in a bind. Many content creators have expressed frustration regarding sponsors who request them to downplay essential elements of their videos. However, they also recognize that rejecting future collaborations with these companies could significantly impact their income. It's becoming increasingly common to see YouTubers promoting questionable products from repeat sponsors. Sponsors often require the YouTubers to appear enthusiastic and claim they organically love the product. But these promotions, dressed up as authentic recommendations, aren't always genuine. The sponsor's product may have no relation whatsoever to the creator's normal content style or interests. Yet, they must contrive sponsored segments to force the product to fit their brand. I can't speak for you, but being an avid YouTube viewer myself, I see through the facade and these promotions come across as jarringly fake and contrived. But why do creators feel pressure to showcase a false sense of authenticity and excitement around sponsors? Unlike traditional media figures, YouTubers have a direct relationship with their audience. But there are no professional ethics or codes holding them accountable to subscribers. With fame coming and going rapidly online, Loyal sponsors offer a more stable career path, and these sponsorships have enabled displays of outrageous wealth from YouTubers, far beyond what ad revenue alone could sustain. It's a fact that YouTube influencers amass followers by filming everything from popping pimples to reviewing lipstick, with businesses watching closely for marketing opportunities. But audience loyalty only goes so far. When YouTubers post too many paid promotional videos, their reputations start to suffer, Influencer marketing has exploded into a multi-billion dollar industry, projected to climb to $85 billion by 2028. However, constantly pushing sponsored products may be damaging creators' authenticity. If the audience doesn't see YouTubers as trustworthy and authentic, much of their marketing effort might not lead to the desired outcome. Of the many things we've heard of why YouTube influencers are so effective, and why people, particularly young generations, are listening to social influencers, is that they believe social influencers are authentic, with emphasis on authenticity. A new study analyzed over 85,000 YouTube videos from beauty and lifestyle influencers. It found that 6,000, or 7%, contained direct sponsorships. In these videos, influencers often tested cosmetic products, offering reviews and recommendations. The goal was to examine how sponsored deals impact an influencer's behavior and reputation. So, what exactly did this study find when comparing sponsored versus unsponsored videos? Well, they analyzed over 30 different metrics related to the influencer's verbal and nonverbal behavior. What do I mean by this? Well, when it came to facial expressions, sponsored deals led to noticeably more frequent smiling from creators, even when they were reacting negatively to a product. The researchers also picked up on shifting vocal tones between sponsored and non-sponsored content. There was sometimes an inorganic peppiness and exaggerated excitement in the sponsored videos. Speech patterns also changed, with quicker talking speeds and less hesitation when influencers were featuring a paid sponsorship deal. The language used in sponsorships tended to be more elaborate, with a wider vocabulary and complex word choices compared to non-sponsored videos. So across the board, the clear impression was of creators portraying exaggerated positivity around sponsor products. 
Even when they personally disliked something, most remained upbeat and enthusiastic to maintain that brand relationship. Predictably, followers noticed these shifts in authenticity. Comments reflected feeling duped by creators who acted more as paid advertisers than honest reviewers. Many expressed outrage at shallow sponsorships, masked as organic recommendations, losing trust in creators who prioritized brand deals over their true opinions. The study concluded that prizing sponsorships over authenticity damages influencers' reputations over time. Followers value transparency, but constant promotional content disguised as real recommendations hurt credibility. Relying solely on brand deals turns creators into salespeople first and entertainers second. However, maintaining authenticity should be the priority. Influencer marketing doesn't have to be disingenuous. More balance is needed between revenue and creating quality content audiences love. The lure of big sponsorship checks will likely always exist for online creators now that the genie is out of the bottle. Maintaining audience goodwill and trust should still be the top priority over any temporary income boost. While contractual obligations to brands must be fulfilled, creators also have an ethical responsibility that extends beyond legal minimums. More conversations about how to balance serving both sponsors and subscribers are needed. As the influencer era continues to evolve, subscribe to the channel to stay updated. What do you think of YouTube's shift toward more direct advertising? Are creators unfairly criticized for embracing sponsorships? I'm curious to hear your perspectives in the comments. These competing motivations brew resentment on both sides. Audiences feel like cash cows, creators feel damned if they post sponsors, and damned if they don't. Sponsorships have become a financial lifeline that enables ambitious creators to keep pushing boundaries. However, dependence on constant promotional content strains credibility. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.